everybody to Pokemon Sword. We are off to our first gym challenge, and we hope it's a good one. Things I'm hoping for in this episode is maybe a Pokemon Evolution for one of my party members. Gym Challenger, the opening ceremony is starting soon. Please allow me to escort you to the gym stadium. It's across the street. No. Of course, you should have no problem making your way through the gym stadium, right? Yeah, I can. Jeez. I mean, I know I'm only 10, but I'm not stupid. Ah. Pokeballs, great balls. What are you guys talking about? That's right. See? Found it just fine. But thank you for caring. Ah, uh, yeah, here's Mr. Miss the Snotty One. There's all, all kinds of people here dressed up for a baseball game, it looks like. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that, but my phone lets off an Umbreon cry whenever I get a text message or something. So, <laughs> shows you how much of a Pokemon nut I am. Not to mention my my lanyard on my on my keys on my keys is a, is all the evolutions as well. There we go. Uno six, uno si. Wonderful. You look sharp as a pin. And that six there, that really is the number for you. Yep. I was always number six when I played my volleyball games. Always, and I still do to this day. Now we're ready for at last for the opening ceremony for this year's gym challenge. How does this go? Do we all battle each other and then, like, see... And see, like... And then do we all battle the gym leader? The winner battles the gym leader? Or do we all go for a free-for-all? Hey, all these people! Oh, look at this. It's the announcer guy. Ooh, is that the gym challenger? Wow. Ladies and gentlemen! I am Rose, chairman of the Pokemon League. I know that everyone gathered here, and everyone watching from home all have been waiting for this big moment. It is my pleasure to announce that finally, the Gala Region Gym Challenge. I uh, didn't even give me time to read the text. Yes, the Gym Challenge. Participants, participants must defeat the eight gym leaders. Where is eight? Need, and gather the eight gym badges to prove their skills as a trainer. Only the most worthy will have the honor of the challenging the greatest champion in history. That goes to Cynthia. Now, I would like to invite the gym leaders to show themselves. I said, show yourselves. They, they're not even there. Mm, the gym leaders. Uh, yeah, here they come. Walking in extreme slow-mo, of course. I count seven. I count seven. The Fighting Farmer. Here's the Grass-type expert, Milo. The Raging Wave. It's the Master of Water Types, Nessa. The Ever-Burning Man of Fire. Here comes the Fire-type veteran, Kabu. Abu. The Galar Karate Prodigy. Nobody's better with fighting types than Bia. The master of a, of a fantastic feeder. It's the charming phaser type, fairy type user. The hard rock crusher. Please welcome the rock type master, Gordy. And last but not least, the tamer of dragons. It is Rayon, the top gym leader. Fortunately, we're missing one, but these are the gym leaders that were in their gala region are proud to call our own. It's pretty sad when you can't get all eight to show up. So I know that we fight, like, the grass, water, and fire type ones, I believe. And then we, and then, like, from that point on, it's the other five, I suppose. I like that the, uh, that they're actually giving, like, my character facial expressions. Like, it's, I remember in Pokemon Sun and Moon, like, your facial expression was always just, like, straight, like happy face and that was you just had a straight smile on your face and that was it but this one you're actually like looking around going like oh shit like this is a big deal ah uh, yes hop didn't see you out there actually huh ah uh, yes you made it at last hop and you too no way 
So you're the two trainers our champion endorsed himself. Welcome, and it's a delight to meet you. I'm Rose, of course. Oh, and what's this? I see you both already possess Dynamax bands. How wonderful! It seems you two have been led here by the guiding light of the wishing stars. By the way, it was my wonderful company that invested those Dynamax brands, you know. I dare say this year's gym challenge is looking to be an absolute blast. Very good. Very good indeed. That means the whole Gala region is in for some excitement. The gym challenge is an excellent opportunity to show off your Dynamax Pokemon. Now, I'm terribly sorry, but there is some urgent business I need to attend to, so I must be on my way. The best of luck to both of you. Chairman certainly seems to be in high spirits. Now listen closely, you two. You both only just started on your path as trainers. If you want to win, you need to do more than just train your Pokemon. You need to train yourselves, too. Get in that gym, you two skinny wags. Pump some iron, get some biceps and quads and glutes. You'll never make it with those bodies like that. Let's do it, the way. You know the gym challenge is a set of order that you've got to visit the gyms in, right? Ah, the first is in Turfield, and to get there, we need to head to Route 3. Ah, oh, so you do have an order. I was thinking if they were going to try and make this like Breath of the Wild, that you would actually have like, you have to, you could go in like a certain order, but nah, Pokemon's always been about going in a certain order for gym challenges. There, we did that. Okay, so it looks like, I was thinking that was actually going to be a gym, like, but we'll get to a gym, obviously. We got to go to Route 3 now. Wait, Route 3, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we got to go to our left. So. Huh? Challenge, give me what? What do you got for me? A gift. Such a wonderful thing from the chairman. Such a wonderful man. <clears throat> Excuse me. This gift is, ac the gift is to access the flying taxi. They allow you to, in a word, fly. A flying taxi? Really? Wait, like, I don't get, like, a little Charizard that I can call up and fly me around? Really? Is that how it works? Ah, jeez. All these people. So, yeah, we gotta... Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, we don't wanna go that way. That's uh that's route five. So like yeah, there's like there's a grass gym here, the water gym here, the fire one, I suppose, is somewhere else as well. And there's all these other ones too, so. Hmm. We gotta head to our left, I suppose. Gotta go this way. Are they talking to me? Or are they talking to this guy who's, uh, oh no, he's cheering for me. Oh, we'll try. Try as I might. Well, we got a nice new haircut. We got. I picked up some items, I believe. I got some potions, right? Yeah, we got some more potions. Got some Pokeballs. All right. Oh, hello, Lapras. Hello, what are you doing? Why are you staring at a, at a dumpster? Nice graffiti. Someone graffiti to Lapras on there. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, I bet I can unleash an amazing hyper beam. Yeah. And then take a day to recharge. All right, po my Pokemon should be healed. We had a night in the hotel. Yeah, so we got some... We're getting decently strong here. And yeah, I hope we can get some... See some evolutions maybe this episode. Uh, maybe I should uh, stock up on a few things. Probably got some more money from potions. Maybe just a couple more. That's yes, because we went through them pretty quickly last time. I got some paralyzed heals. Yeah, I got two of those... 
Just in case we get poison, maybe. And maybe a couple of burn ones, too. Yeah, just, just to be certain. All right, let's go. Oh, of course. There you are. I've been waiting. Let's have a battle. You and me will get in a bit of training. Uh, but why? Seriously? This is the moment when you play along and I pumped up for battle. You gotta ask us why we should bother training. You'll never make it through the gym challenge. Pfft. What if I just want to... Alright, fine. I knew you'd be up to it. Did they change this theme? Weren't we just in a city? And now there's like... Now it's just like we're just out in the wilderness. Ah, you're Wulu, yes. Keep it up, mate. All right, here we go. As Wulu is going to be a trusted Pokemon of his, I guess. I'm yet to see some of my some of the other Pokemon I want to trust in. Well, there we go. Steely B, Pojo Jack. Yeah, I'll switch. Make it a bit more interesting, huh? Yeah, I'll not, not be water against fire. Let's make it a bit more fair fight, shall we? I kind of like Score Bunny, though. He's kind of cool, a little dancing feet. Oh, we've got a perfectly even battle here. Uh, Home Claws, yes. I'm using Quick Attack for him. I'm sure you're faster than me. Dang it. I think every time I keep raising my attack, they use Growl. Oh, stop using that. Great, now I'm just at neutral again. Just trying to make it even. Let's go here, Steely B. You can take out this bunny. Oh, uh, yeah, what are you going to use? A little fire attack? Our flames are burning bright! You've used that attack before. Oh, of course he gets a critical hit. But I got a critical hit, too. Yeah, you don't have to interrupt the battle. God, you ruin enough things as it is. Use another Fury Attack and over five hits. Come on. Two! Oh, come on, you. I know, I could have gotten this battle over with a lot quicker. Come on now. All right, if this doesn't kill, I better switch, I guess. Ah, dang it. Rats and all. Well, I just tried to make it a fair fight. I could have beat him, actually. Because he wouldn't have killed me with Growl. Alright, let's get the rest of this battle dealt with here, shall we? All right. 
right, still got his. Rooka D, yep. I'll keep him out. You got it all wrong, mate. That'll just make my victory all the better. You should have saved your starter then. I just remember, like, I remember, like, always battling my rival in, in uh, Pokemon Blue, and, like, I remember I'd, like, get through, like, a cave or something. Like, i get through, like, a mountain, moon, or rock tunnel. And then, like, at the very end, when, my, when I'm all, like, beaten and battered, and then he would, Gary would be standing there at the end and, like, ready to fight me without healing my Pokemon. And then there's these rivals who all, like, just heal your Pokemon before you even fight them. But like it was just like that was that's what made like it was challenging, but you know what? That's what made us resilient as people, as like players. See, like Gary would never give me a league card. I guess we should heal our Pokemon again after that, huh? Yep, better do that. We could have handled that battle a lot easier, but hey, I'm just trying to make it a challenge, you know? All right, let's keep moving. So, on to Route 3 now, and on to the first gym. What do we got down here? There we go. Who are you? There's not a lot of like doorways. There's no like doorways to transition. It's all kind of together. I did that. Ooh, a stunky. Stunky. Hey, stunky. <laughs> Poison and dark is a good combination. You're only weak to you're only weak to ground. I feel like it's... The Pokemon levels are staying, like, relatively close to mine. No, oh, and he's confused. Oh, no! He killed himself! I was gonna catch him. That's okay. Like, even though... Do I have an experience... Do I have an experience share on? Hmm, let's see here. Do I have an experience share? Uh, like, do I have that on right now? Because, like, I feel like the experience share uh, options. Uh, it's just, like, sound effects and everything. Uh, yeah, can you even turn off, like, your... Wow, can you even turn off, like, the experience share? Ah! What's in the ground there? Oh, it's a... Oh, was that a Vulpix? Vulpix? Oh, dear. Here's a Gala region of, Z of Zigzagoon. Yeah, we're definitely going to get an evolution this episode, you guys. And it's going to be nice. Just a more powerful Pokemon. Snarl. There he goes. All right, might as well, uh, might as well, uh, put a uh, Steely B in the front now. Yeah, hello. What was that? Wait, is that who I think it is? No, no, not, not quite. But it's something different. 
Gossifleur. I don't know why I did not know what this Pokemon was before. I do now. Thought it'd be grass. Dang. Put out splits of, oh, that's a crit. That's some pretty decent defense, though, I feel. Alright, might as well catch this thing. Holy smokes! Rapid Spin did a lot of damage for what it was. Come on, you. Get in that ball. There we go. Gossipler. There we go. Now, what do we got here? The grass type, I thought as much, anchors itself in the ground with its single leg, then basks in the sun. After absorbing enough sunlight, its petals spread as it blooms brilliantly. Of course, we gotta give it a name. Ah, what do we call this one? Uh, Dees. Deeser. Deeser, uh. Deezeruff. Or Dizeruff. 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 There we go. Dizeruff. There you go. I guess he's in the party now. Ah! A Trubbish? Just gonna use one of my potions now. Potions are no longer healing us to the full max. You saw the opening ceremony, right? And you know why I'm excited and want to battle! Okay, lass. I got a way more determined look than she does. Oh, Vulpix. No longer the Alolan form, I guess. What was that? Oh. Okay, don't lower my stats this time. Ah, quick attack. Lovely. Alright. Let's go, Court. Let's go, Steely B. Ah, we got the speed, don't we? Never hits more than three times. Tail whip? You got more than one tail. You got six of them. Two, see, two, three times. Remember, it could hit like four or five, right? It used to happen more frequently, but then I guess it became more broken, I suppose. Again, fix your tie there. Get a bigger tie. Uh, what do we got here? Any other crazy Pokemon? Ah, Vulpix. I might as well catch one of you. Come here, Vulpix. No, where'd he go? No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Gossifleur. Ha <laughs> ha. You can't get me up here. I want a Vulpix. Ah, I'm sure I'll see more. Who are you? Oh, a younger lass. I've been studying foreign languages, computers, and Pokemon. I'm sure you have. Schoolgirl Hannah. Panjam. My own. You got your own Pocho Yak, don't you? Too bad he's a fighting type. Not a good choice against a fi against flying. All right.
boy, for not being very effective. Why'd you send that one out? Oh, good grief. Whatever. Go ahead and take the hit. Sorry, Disarrupt. Alright, we're gonna wonder if we can get them both to evolve at the same time. Maybe. Gotcha. There we go. Yeah, we probably will get them to evolve at the same time. Pokemon weren't savvy enough. It's alright. Things are about to get a little bit easier, I think. Oh, God. What's this? Trainer tips? Yeah, always the trainer tips. Yeah, but where can you? Ah, oh, Trubbish. There's a ball picks. Did you just miss me, kiddo? I'm right here. Come here, you. Whoa, instead of... Alright, now schoolboy, huh? Yeah, it's a Badoo. Now we're starting to see some Pokemon from different generations. From generations 5 and 1 and all that. Oh, almost KO'd. Ah, dang it all. Okay, here we go again. Yeah, take him out. Oh, so close. Okay, we're going to send out I'm gonna send out Sly just because uh, I know he's I know he's water against grass, but uh, ah, you know what? Forget it. Should probably just stick with uh, Steely B. It's kind of a stupid thing. I just want them both to get the same amount of XP and then they can evolve at the same time. But uh, I don't need to be a perfectionist like that. Just go with it. Make it fast and efficient. So I think, uh, think old, uh, think old Steely B is going to evolve here. Ah, oh, Sly, not quite. Oh, Pluck. Pluck is a good move. How much, is it more powerful than Peck? Peck has got a, oh yeah, it's much more powerful. Well, I think I'll get rid of, uh, I might get rid of Peck actually. I might do that, actually. There we go. Well, I guess we're going to have our first evolution. And then we're going to have another one following immediately afterwards. What? Oh, wait, doesn't... Oh, does he evolve at 18? I don't know why I thought 16. Ah, Sonya. Hi, Jim Challenger. 
He looked real ace out there during the opening ceremony. All I did was stand there, though. Oh, well, where's Hop? Who cares? Oh, he went, he went on ahead. He can't sit still at all, can he? I guess he really wants to catch up to his brother. It's okay, we could all use a hop break, can't we? Now, what's this? You see that building over there? It's a company owned by Chairman Rose. Just past Route 3, there's a mine where they dig up ore. That building over there processes it into energy. In other words, the chairman is responsible for providing the Galar region... Oops, sorry. Can't say I really get him, but the chairman seems like a pretty brilliant guy, right? Here, a little something for having a chin wag with me. It's an escape rope. Yes. Oh, thank you. The way to Turfield is pretty long, but that's a kind of challenge in its own right. Good luck, Jim Challenger. I got a name. It's no way. Okay, I really want a Vulpix. Is there a Vulpix around here? By the way, wasn't there a... Oh, these are, uh... These are the rock Pokemon. Uh, they evolved into Colossal in the final form, I believe. I believe so, yes. So we should get our... Why don't we fight one of them, huh? Yep. Roly-coly. Roly-poly-oly. Roly-coly. wonder if this will... Probably won't knock it out in one shot. Or it did. Sorry. Oh, he's actually on a wheel. Well, that makes sense. All right, there we go. Hey, Sobble. My little Sobble. My little Sly is evolving. Oh. Yes, he's evolved into Drizzile. He's got a little bit more sass now, a bit more pizzazz, although seems to be in a bit of a gothic age right now. He's going through some gothic teen years, it looks like. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah, he's getting, he's got, I kind of like Sobble's little look. He looks kind of cute. This guy's a little different. Oh, dear. Ah, they're everywhere. All right, you want to test it out against my, oh, dear. You want to test it out against my Drizzile? Sure. Purloin. There he is. What about the green with the blue? It looks kind of funny. He throws it? Well, that's interesting. Uh, should we give someone else a go? I mean, despite, like, t training these other two, my other Pokemon seem to be keeping up, actually. Sure, let's try Mistletoe, shall we? Come on, doggo. Let's get him paralyzed first. Keep going here. Nah, this is going to take a while. He's pretty good defensively, I think, this little dog. But he's uh, not a big attacker. I'm going to speed it up here. Uh, Bojo Jack, yeah, your, your fighting types will be strong against him. There we go. Some arm thrusting. There we go. Yeah, 
There we go. There's this item here. Beat up. Oh, yes, yeah, a uh, TM move. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. Oh, he's a mailman. <laughs> I thought he was a police officer. Oh, dear. A nice beard. Postman Tad. Oh, no, not this guy again. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, great. Lovely. This is where I really wish I had Vulpix. Okay, I'm not wasting time here. I'm sending out Sly. He's a bit stronger now than before. God, those presents can do like a ton of damage. Here we go. Yeah, not so tough anymore, huh? Go, pound that bird. Oh, pfft, sticks his tongue out. Turns out I was carrying your victory. Uh, nice recovery, mailman. So is this someone's campground then? Ah, hello. So, like, is this a... So, wait, can I put my... Wait, so... Ah, okay, so she's got her she's got some of her Pokemon. See, she's got a Vulpix too, I see. Every Pokemon's got a type or two, and every type of strong points are weak ones. Boy, some of these kids are really young, aren't they? Oh, this is a... Uh... Okay, so this is a Pokemon that I've wanted to capture, Sizzlepede, because Scorlipede, Scorlipede actually looks like kind of a cool Pokemon, and the Bug and Fire type can be actually a really unique combo. Though, his, uh, yeah, I think his defenses aren't that good, as you can see, but... Uh... Wait, who is he sending out? Dalter? Ah, oh, wait, what is that? What kind of type is that? I guess we don't know yet. Looks like a... Is he a rock type? He looks like a... I don't know what that type is. Well, it's super effective. Must be another bug type or fighting or something. Dotler. I don't know what that Pokemon is. Peter. I'm weak to people older than me. Well, that's I guess that means everybody then, huh? Any Vulpixes? Okay, I'll tell you what, guys. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna I'm gonna meet you back here in just a few seconds. I just really want a Vulpix in the team for a Fire type mainly. So, you guys just wait right here, and I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, and we're here, and we've got ourselves a Vulpix. And as you can see, I have named her. Kilala, and if any of you know any of you Inuyasha fans out there know this, it is our friend Kilala from the Inuyasha series. It was Songo's little uh, feline companion that could. At one time, she was a cute little kitten with two tails, and then another time, she turned into a giant like saber-tooth cat. She could fly around and everything. I know I have two R's there when it should be like Kilala with it two L's, but in the Japanese language, they pronounce their R's and L's the same, and this is how they spelt it in the text, actually. So, I'm just sticking to traditional ways here. 
I'm sure I'll see more of... Oh, what do we got here? Galar mines ahead. I'm sure we'll see more of these uh, rock, rock wheelers in here. Yeah. Who are you? Hi, uh, me and my little sister have set ourselves up as pop-up Pokemon Center service. Not that anyone asked that we could. Oh, thanks. Thank you. God's like up here in Canada with all this free health care. Hmm. Galar Mines. Cool. Oh, it's uh oh, what's that rock? What's that rock type called? Rogan Rolla, yeah. He evolves into Gigalith. Gigalith, I think. Oh. That's not a good choice. You know, I'm not sure. I mean, a Vulpix. I guess having a Vulpix would be okay, but I guess in here won't be too useful with all the rock types. Oh, Stealth Rock, yes. There we go. Should we go through here, I'm guessing? It's pretty cool. Like, I like the atmosphere of all this here and everything. It's kind of neat. Oh, good, a revive. That's handy. Maybe I'll get Vulpix some practice training, actually, because uh, she's at the lowest level right now, being just caught. Even though I'm sure this guy's probably going to have a rock type or two. My work partner and I are in perfect sync, even in battle. I guess he's only got one. Worker Keith. Yeah, there we go. Don't worry, Kilala. We'll move you out of here. I won't put you in danger like that. Just wanted to get some experience, right? He's got it. I'm kind of excited to see my, you know, Antalion when he gets his when he finally evolves. It'll be kind of a cool experience. Boy. Oh, mistletoe. Ah, forget it. Hmm, looks like we weren't in sync. All right, so keep on moving here. Oh. What's the matter? You look like you're lost. Oh, dear. In order to do good work, I can't slack off on training. Well, how does that help with the mines? Or maybe she's working her rock Pokemon to get a bit stronger so they can work on the mines better. Timber! Oh. I didn't know he had a first form. I only knew... uh this is a fighting type. I didn't know he had a first form, honestly. Fifth generation, I'm not as familiar with. But uh, I know Girder is his second form, and Conkledur is his final form. But I thought it was just Girder and Conkledur. I didn't know there was a Timber. All you know is Quick Attack? Oh, shit. That might kill me. Oof, dear. Here we go again. Yeah, I did, that's that's interesting. I didn't know there was a first form, but I guess there is now. Ah, dang it all. See ya, Timber. There he goes. Timber! There you go, Kilala. Almost a level up. Oh, Steely B. He's going to evolve. He's going to evolve. Oh, we got another one coming out. 
Yes, Key Lala will get you more get you more experience. Just being part of the battle, right? Got two of these guys, huh? All right, this is great. Our little our little Steely B is gonna evolve into Corva Squire. He'll be he'll probably get it. I think he gets his Steel typing as well, which will definitely help with some resistances around here. Here we go. Always with a little bit of energy. Yeah, a lot of good that's going to do you. Okay, let's finish this guy off. There he goes. All right, let's take a look at Corvus Squire here. And Kilala gets a level up too. And Sly. Oh, geez, another one. Uh, I might as well just keep going. How many timbers you got? See, I don't mind this, actually. Like, having more Pokemon is good. Like, in the in Poke in Gen 6, like, I felt like almost pretty much every trainer had had uh, just one Pokemon, really. That was it. Maybe some had two, but, like... But it's nice to know there's some trainers that have more. All right. Here we go, Corba Squire. Here we go. Steely B evolved into Corva Squire. Now, does he get a steel typing or is it only a Corva Knight? Oh, he's still flying, shoot. Smart enough to use tools in battle. These Pokemon have been seen picking up rocks and flinging them or using ropes to wrap up enemies. There we go. What happens if I keep going this way? Oh, we got another one over here. Oh, we got a Timber and a Woobat. Hello, Woobat. Let's test out uh, Steely B now. Steely, Steely B's new form. Let's see how he looks. Endeavor can be so powerful. Oh no, not attract. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice try, but I'm a girl too. It don't work like that. Well, that sounds a bit wrong, actually. I mean, who says a? I mean, of course, a, of course, a woman, a woman can get attracted to another woman. I didn't mean it that way. I was just trying to, in the Pokemon ways, I guess it don't work that way. But in the real world, it can definitely work. Oh, Timber. I don't even know what kind of a... I don't know what you're supposed to be. It's like a otter or something. I'm just trying to get... Uh, I'm just trying to get Vulpix up to speed here. It'll, there we go. Let's go, Steely B. That's it. Yeah, lear me down. Oh, come on! Well, we might as well catch him. Might as well catch him if his HP's like that. Here we go. Reminds me of how useful the move False Swipe was. Kind of what I did was I had my Garchomp in Gen 7, and I would, like... I'd always make like the name, the name teat, the name raider, or the the like move tutor, like have Garchomp, like always remember. I would always teach False Swipe to him to catch some Pokemon, and then when I was done catching the Pokemon, I go back to the move creator and use a use my heart scales to have him remember his like the move I make him forget. There we go, Kilala. Oh yeah, we gotta gotta name our guy now. All right, what are we going to call him? I'm going to call him... 
I call him Chung. I'm going to put a little uh, apostrophe in there. And a little and. Chunkin. I put a space. Chunkin. There, just fit it. Chunk and hunk. All right, chunk and hunk. Uh, go to the box, chunk and hunk. <laughs> Sorry, chunk and hunk. Diglet. Oh, Diglet. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to ground type to get my fire type Pokemon. Alright, take out the Diglets. I was like Diglet. He was always kinda cute. So remember that episode was called Diglos Diglets? They're all like Diglet Dig, Diglet Dig, Diglet Dig. Trio, trio, trio. Kinda fun little guys. Drillbur? Who's Drillbur? Is that like that mole thing? Yeah. And he evolves into Excadrill. Assurance, huh? I'll give her a beat up. That's actually not that good of an attack. All right. There we go. A couple more level ups. All right. Let's keep moving here. Let's press on ahead. Oh. The drill burr as well. Um, I just walked right past you, buddy. You're looking around for items? There's one right next to you, idiot! Oh, Russell. You give everyone a bad name. I never noticed the Pokemon. I didn't notice the, the wheel. I didn't. That's kind of interesting. Alright, Sly, you're gonna have to keep doing the dirty work for us here. All right, I should probably put him back in the front line, maybe. It looks like a piece of dark matter. He's just like this bunch of coal, and he's just got that big red eye. Pulling that used to not even effectively when I was in a pinch. Well, since you since you're too blind to see it, I'm gonna take it right here. A pair of heavy duty boots. Oh, I don't think I've ever heard of that item before. Alright, Chad that was mine. Yeah, I gotta say it's it's kinda nice to like just, you know. It's kind of nice to just like, oh, great. Well, look who it is. Coming this way, I advise against it. Any trainer with a wishing star is in for a beating from me and my Pokemon. Okay, well, if that's the case, I am going to fight you, of course, lady. But I'm just going to heal some Pokemon up here. They're a little beaten up. Not like I need that to defeat you. All right, let's switch. Uh, let's switch him out. Yeah, I'm afraid to challenge you, lady. Oh, you think you're so cool? You, 
You're the gym challenger endorsed by the champion, aren't you? What a joke. You're aware that the chairman is more important than the champion, right? I was chosen by the chairman himself, so that makes me more amazing than you. I suppose I should prove beyond doubt just how pathetic you are and how strong I am. Oh boy. Now this is a rival. This is a rival. Betty. Solossus. Oh. Only level 13, lady? Come on. See, this is more of a rival. Like, this is how it should be. Like, not a rival is like a big goody goody and just like healing your Pokemon and doing all these favors for you. Like, and always like just being there and just wanting to fight you. I'm just giving your Pokemon a little chance to shine, is all. Gothada. Oh, I know that Pokemon. Hmm. Should I switch it out? Give a. Uh... I think I remember Gothica. Gothica. It's that psychic type. It looks like a Gothic bride. Slagar will have a. Slagar will have a good advantage against him. Yeah, you ain't getting away. Now she's got a kind of a intense theme as well. She's not bad. There we go. Level 19. Tearful look? What does that do? I'm not familiar with that move. The user gets teary-eyed to make the target lose its combative spirit. So this lowers that. Ah, I'll replace it with growl. Sure, that would be good. It's better than growl, that's for sure. It lowers two different stats instead of just one. Hatena, ah, oh, Hatena. I'm blanking on that one for some reason. I'm trying to remember Hatena. Is that a new one? Oh dear, what have I been doing? Well, whatever, let's just get this over with. Ah. Now, Volpix only knows quick attack as a move. Yeah, that ain't gonna work too well. Like the same amount of damage as it did to Vulpix. All right, get rid of this guy. Of course. All right, beat yourself up. Stick the knife in. Ah, dang it all. There, pound him down or lick him, whatever. See, well, that's fine. I wasn't really trying all that hard anyway. Yeah, you cover up that little loss there, little girl. Well, that was unexpected. I suppose you're more able than I thought. Naturally, I remember your battle style and strategies now. I'm sure to easily defeat you if and when we face each other in an official match. Now that we've established that, I won't waste any more time on you. I've already gathered every wishing star in this area. See, that's more like it. See, that's more like a rival. Like, they're not wait. They're not just battling you in like a in a in a nice area, and, and they heal your Pokemon up before the battle. They're waiting for you at the end of like a a tunnel, 
or at the end of like a what's supposed to be a rougher road, they don't heal your Pokemon for you, and then they battle you. Which I think is more how it should be. So I'm happy to see that this game is trying to throw a little bit of that into here. Ah, okay. I'll stop this episode once we hit the uh, once we hit the next town. I think. Oh, see now this one heals my Pokemon. Yep, almost there. What's in there? Is that? Oh, it's just a kid. I thought it was a Mimikyu. Yeah, you do look like a Pikachu. Creep. Creepy Poke Kid Shane. Oh, I wondered. How could I have ever guessed that you'd send that out? Oh, shoot. I do have a type disadvantage, though. Come on, hit me with a quick attack. No, not paralyze. This move, this move doubles in power if you take some damage in the same turn. So you only did that much, but it'll do double the power if uh, if Pikachu uh, hits me. Okay, so Electro Ball. Don't be paralyzed. Damn it! No. That's it. Yeah, hit me with a quick attack. There we go. This should finish it off. Okay, that did... That did the exact same amount. Uh, the move is a lie. God, I can't believe I'm having so much trouble against a Pikachu. Dang it. Oh, of course, he gets the crit. And then he gets this won't even finish him off. Oh, no, it did. Ah, oh, yes. Pikachu just gives his, says his name, actually. Pika. Or how did, uh, how did go and detect a Pikachu? Like, Pika. Ah, go with Electrike. I'm just going to have the lady heal me again. Oh, there you are. Always nice if people can do that for me. Okay, let's keep going. You got a little camp yourself, don't you? What kind of Pokemon you got here? Oh, you got floating around here. Oh, you got yourself your own. Oh, he's got a, she's got a Routes. And someone dressed up as an Eevee and a Bronzor. It's got a cool amount of Pokemon set up. Oh, there's a couple of tents around here. See, so couldn't I, like... See, so couldn't I set up camp? Or do I have to, like... Uh, I'm not sure. We'll figure that out eventually. All right, one more battle. One more battle. Oh, I'm the finishing touch, huh? Oh, he's not even looking at me. He's just looking at his Pokeball. Oh, God. Yes, meow. Yeah, you've had one weird... You had a weird Alola form. Now you got a weird Gala form. Oh, jeez. Guy just grew a bunch of... God, meow. Got a creepy, like, Gengar teeth now. All 
right, let's get this guy over with here. Ah, oh, goodness gracious. Let's go! So this is how you train your Meowth? Just growling endlessly? Doesn't work too well. Uh, Cedo. Yeah, Cedo is a grass type. That's right, I forgot my attack dropped a bunch. Normally this would have killed him in one hit, but that's okay. Because hit again then. Oh, a Butterfree. Oh. I was kind of like Butterfree, I mean. Whenever people see Butterfree, I mean, the thing that comes to my mind, of course, is the episode in the original anime, Bye Bye Butterfree, which was a big tearjerker for many of us at the time, and still is to this day. It's, uh, I mean, it was the first time Ash, like, said goodbye to one of his Pokemon, and it was, uh, it left a number on some people. It was very, it was very difficult. And, uh, yeah, that was one of the first times, and... I don't think many. I don't think many had as much of a as as that nearly as as sad of a goodbye as Butterfree did. I mean, that set the bar high for Pokemon farewells in the anime, and it uh, yeah, that's what changed everything really. So yeah, that's what I think when I see Butterfree. And I always wondered if uh, Butterfree would ever come back. I kept waiting each episode, but it never happened. All right, good, a Fire type. Uh, I'll give her a tail whip, I think. Good. Vulpix has a fire attack now. That's nice. There we go. What's that? No, go away, you creepy Galar Meowth. What about in here? Oh, what's that? Oh, a repel. That'd be kind of nice. Hello, Eevee. If you were a real Eevee, I would have caught you. Sunny. Pokemon Pokemon Kid Sunny. Milsery? Oh, boy. Oh, God. That's a little suggestive. Ugh. Oh, no. Draining Kiss. That's an interesting Pokemon. Just a bunch of... What is it? Just a bunch of cream? Sorry, kid. Wow, you're pretty happy for someone who just lost. But that's okay. Uh, we got some Diglets. What's that? Oh, another Electric. Just grab this item. A pile of silver powder. <laughs> Just run through. Ah, dig, let's pop it out of holes. Oh, great. Lulu, where do you think you're going? Oh, great. Now what? Oh, geez. Oh, it's you. I thought it was going to be Hope. Or I thought it was going to be Hop. My, are you okay? You took that tackle head on. God, this kid's got like this guy's got like the face of a kid but the body of like a an adult. Hmm? Oh, you must be one of those gym challengers, right? Yes, indeed. 
Ha, I thought so. I saw you at the opening ceremony. My name's Milo. I'm a gym leader and rather partial to grass-type Pokemon. I've been itching to see just how good the champion endorsed gym challenges are. Let me find out at the gym stadium. Just head on through this route and you'll run right into my stadium. See you there. God, it's such a weird... Oh, more, more woolies. Oh, boy. Okay, everybody. Well, that's a long episode, but it is done. We'll never repeat this again. Ah. Uh, so, here we are, just in the town. And we are, as you can see, there is our gym right there. And we will challenge that very soon. But until then, we will uh, see you all then, guys. And I hope to see you all very soon. And I hope you're enjoying this. It's a nice, you know, interesting playthrough. And I hope it just gets more interesting as we go along. Alright. Well, it's Pokemon. Of course it's interesting. Anyways, guys. And see you next time. And thank you for watching.